In this video, we're going to talk about ground state versus excited state electron configuration. So each of the orbits in the Bohr model of the atom has a fixed radius. The greater the radius of an orbit, the further the, it is from the nucleus. So um, principal energy level four here is further away from the nucleus in the middle, that green little positive sign, than um, principal energy level number one. Also, the further the orbit, the further the radius, the greater the energy of the electrons in that orbit. An electron in, in the fourth principal energy level has more energy than an electron in the first energy level. If an electron absorbs energy, it jumps to higher levels because it makes more sense that it has more energy in the fourth level. So if you're absorbing energy, you go to higher levels. That's what uh, Bohr called a quantum leap in energy. If energy decreases, electrons fall back down from previously excited higher energy levels. So remember, more energy the further you weigh, less energy the closer you are. This can be a question in and of itself on a Regents exam. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between ground state and excited state. When all the electrons are located in the lowest available energy levels, the atom is said to be in the ground state. So if I have an atom of hydrogen here, I have one proton in the nucleus, and I have one electron in the first sublevel. So its electron configuration would be 1s1. On the um, reference table, the configuration would just be 1. When electrons absorb a specific amount of energy, they move to a higher energy level, and they leave the lower energy level unfilled. When this happens, the atom is said to be in an excited state. So the electron jumps from the first level and goes into the second level. So now its configuration would look something like this. 1s0, because there's no electron in the first energy shell, or the first uh, sublevel. 2s1, that electron left the first and went into the second orbital, in the second principal energy level. On the reference table, using the electron configuration shown on the New York State reference tables, it would look something like this, 0-1. has one electron, like hydrogen has, but it's not where it's supposed to be. That's how you would recognize this as an excited state. It's very easy to determine excited from a ground state because the electrons aren't where they're supposed to be. It's the same number of electrons, but they're just not where they're supposed to be. Next thing we need to talk about is what happens when an excited state electron is returned to ground state configurations. So when they're in an excited state, the electron configuration is unstable. You see it shaking there. Eventually that excited electron is going to fall back down to the lower level. It can't stay excited forever. When this happens, energy is released. That excess energy absorbed when it jumped to the higher energy level is released. And when it's released, it's, it's released in the form of light. This is a very common regions question. It is on almost every single regions question, I, every single regions test I've ever seen. So it's not the jump up that makes the light. It's when those excited electrons fall back down to the ground state, which is what releases the light. So now the configuration is back to normal, 1s1 or just 1, which would be its ground state configuration. So uh, let's summarize what we've learned here. Electrons have more energy the further they are away from the nucleus. If an electron absorbs energy, it can jump to higher energy levels. When that happens, we say it is in an excited state. The configuration is not what it's supposed to be according to our rules of the off-ball diagram. When the excited electron loses energy, it falls back down to the ground state, but the excess energy that it has is lost and it's converted to light energy. You can see that light is different colors. We'll be talking about this more in the next video, uh, but this concept itself, as I said, is an extremely important one that I've seen on many regences.